natural wonders, dazzling beaches, plenty of wildlife, modern and cosmopolitan metropolises, and excellent weather are some of the attributes that Australia has to offer. There are endless things that you can do here in Australia. We know it can be overwhelming not knowing what to do in a country with so much to offer. So here are 10 places you should not miss on your next adventure to Australia. Number 1. Sydney No, it's not the capital of Australia. Although Sydney is the most famous and populous city in Australia, it's not the capital. Like any big city, it has many attractions, such as the Opera House and the Bay Bridge. This city certainly has it all. Incredible landscapes, beautiful beaches, lots of nightlife and museums. If you want to enjoy an excellent view of the city, you can go up to the Tower Eye Observatory. There's much more to do in this modern city with all around world citizens. Number 2. Great Barrier Reef The most extensive coral reef system on the face of the Earth, the Great Barrier Reef is colossal. It's located in the Coral Sea off the Australian state of Queensland. It has an area of over 2,900 coral reefs and hundreds of islands and keys, all shaped by millions of living organisms over millions of years. Today, the reef is one of the most diverse and complex ecosystems in the world. You can visit it and see a remarkable variety of marine life with over 1,500 species of fish and 360 species of coral, plus many species of whales, dolphins, sea turtles, sea snakes, and birds. You simply can't miss it. Number 3. Melbourne Melbourne is the second most populous city in Australia and is considered the cultural capital of the country. Located near the southeastern tip of the country in the natural bay of Port Phillip, its multicultural community is reflected in its cuisine and neighborhoods that make it a great place to explore. The city center district is the one with the most attractions, such as the Flinders Street train station. You can also see the city from the Eureka Tower. In the Carlton District, you can explore the largest museum in the Southern Hemisphere. The Melbourne Museum shows the city's rich social history, from its indigenous cultures to its fascination with soccer and horse racing. This museum also has extensive exhibits of natural history. If you like outdoor activities, you can also enjoy the city's parks or go for a swim at the beaches of Melbourne Bay. St. Kilda Beach is one of the most popular both for swimming and for the clubs and restaurants that line the shore. Number 4. Brisbane On the banks of the Brisbane River lies this city with a fantastic climate. Brisbane is a popular tourist destination, lively and dynamic, that's bathed in beautiful sunshine all year round. It's the third largest city in Australia, with a population of 2 million people. The best things to do in Brisbane are outdoor activities, such as cycling, climbing, or hiking. This is a fun and friendly city with a vibrant music scene, venues, restaurants, and all kinds of bars to choose from. Number 5. The Blue Mountains National Park This beautiful national park was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Located 81 kilometers west of Sydney, it's a popular hiking area. It's called the Blue Mountains because of the blue haze emanating from the numerous eucalyptus trees. This park protects more than 664,000 acres of wilderness and has spectacular gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock paintings, and 140 kilometers of hiking trails. The most famous attractions of the park are the imposing sandstone rock formations called the Three Sisters. Hiking, rappelling, climbing, mountain biking, and horseback riding are popular activities in the park. Number 6. Tasmania Isolated from the rest of the country is the state of Tasmania. Nevertheless, despite being far away from civilization, it's one of the best places to visit. 
almost half of its surface is protected to preserve its natural wealth. With desolate wilderness and alpine plateaus interspersed with stunning white beaches, waterfalls, and forests, exploring its terrain is fascinating. You can take a boat ride along its shores and watch dolphins, penguins, and seals along the way. With a wealth of local produce, eating and drinking in the capital Hobart is an absolute pleasure, and the restaurants and bars are divine. The island is also home to an eclectic range of festivals throughout the year, where you can enjoy local beer and wine or art and music events. Number 7. Perth Perth is located on the western side of Australia and is isolated from the rest of the country. Perth is one of the most livable cities thanks to its relaxed atmosphere, fantastic cultural attractions, and wide range of activities. Most of Perth's attractions are near the water, so a stroll on the beach along the Sunset Coast is the biggest attraction in this city. The most popular beach for young people and tourists is Cottesloe Beach. You can also enjoy parks, walks, and picnic spots along the Swan River. Take a stroll through the Perth Zoo for a close encounter with kangaroos and other native animals. Don't forget to visit Kings Park, one of the largest urban parks in the world. This park features a botanical garden with aerial walkways and the State War Memorial Park is also there. Number 8. Broome Once the pearl capital of the world, Broome in Western Australia is now a booming tourist town and the gateway to the spectacular Kimberley region. Its star tourist attraction, Cable Beach, with seemingly endless white sands and turquoise water is one of Australia's best beaches. And one of the most popular things to do here is riding camels at sunset. Other highlights include the Broome Historical Museum, Broome Crocodile Park, and the Staircase to the Moon, a phenomenon during certain conditions between March and October where the moonlight creates an optical illusion of steps leading to the moon. From Broome, you can explore the rugged and remote Kimberley region and its incredible natural attractions like the Horizontal Waterfall, Cape Levique, the Gibb River Road, the Bungle Bungles in Pernalulu National Park, and the stunning cascades of Mitchell Falls. Number 9. Uluru Kata Juta National Park Deep in the heart of the red center of Australia, you can find Uluru, one of the most photographed natural wonders in the country. The striking red monolith is the centerpiece of Uluru Katajuta National Park. This area is also a World Heritage Site and managed by Parks Australia and the traditional landowners, the Ananu people. Uluru means a shadowy place in the local Aboriginal language. Uluru Formation is 348 meters high from the surrounding plain, but most of its volume is hidden underneath. In this place, you can find the red dome-shaped rocks called Katajuta. When the sun falls, sightseers gather to watch Uluru and Katajuta. Their colors are transformed by the shifting light. Number 10. The Pinnacles The Pinnacles are located within Nambung National Park. They are not far from the small town of Cervantes in Western Australia. Due to their remote location, the spectacular limestone formations largely remained unknown until 1967. The pinnacles, rising dramatically from the desert floor, look like weathered tombstones and number in the thousands. Together, they make for an incredible sight as sand from the coastal dunes blows through the otherworldly-looking landscape. Australia is one of the most unique destinations in the entire world. It has something for everyone. It has a lot to offer for all ages, from the youngest to the oldest. And there's no doubt that this is a destination that you can enjoy with the whole family or on a trip with friends. So, what are you waiting for? Come and visit the land down under. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.